Garden trains can run out in the garden, but large-scale trains can run inside also. Modular groups make tables out of wood or plastic pipe to raise the track in the air. It takes a lot of people, time, and effort to put these together and take them apart when they're transported. I wanted something simple for our indoor layout, and I came across these Rubbermaid shelving units that can support over 900 pounds. Unlike a modular layout, we will not be transporting our indoor layout anywhere, so these shelves seem like they'll do the trick. The units are extremely easy to assemble. We got down to the point where we could put one of these things together in about four or five minutes. The beauty of these units is not only will they support the train, they'll provide storage underneath. The first idea was to use two units, one on each end, and a 4x8 sheet of 3 quarter inch plywood. We realized that if we could put two on each end, we could have more storage for more trains. The beauty of these shelves is that they're lightweight and can be positioned in a variety of different ways underneath your table. Depending on where the table is located on the layout, we can change the direction of the shelves so that they will be open to the outside of the layout. Assembly was easy. We just needed a drill, a tape measure, a pen, and some 3 quarter inch wood screws. We measured 6 inches from each side of the wood. This would allow our plastic shelves to be centered no matter which direction we place them in. A few simple lines would allow us to easily place the shelves to make sure that they would stay lined up. We didn't do anything fancy, we just used the screws, screwed directly through the plastic into the wood. Once one of the shelves is screwed in place, it's easy just to align the other shelf and screw it in on both sides. How you configure the table is up to you. You could have one on one side, one on the other, two on one side, one on the other, or put two on each side and face them in the same direction. Whatever works so you can get the most storage for your trains. One nice thing about the units is they can be manhandled by one person. They're not too heavy. It's a little bit easier when you have two, but if you need to move them, it's a matter of a little bit of leverage and they're up and ready to go. On our layout, we're also going to have a lower unit that will allow us to have a bridge and a valley. We just used two shelves instead of three. As we completed each unit, we just dragged them inside to our shop, getting them ready to set up. We wanted to keep the idea for connecting the table simple also. We got some inexpensive 1x4, some number 8 one and a half inch screws, and screwed the 1x4 to the bottom of each table end, connecting them together. Once we had all the pieces built, we moved them into position. We made sure to measure and get the first two pieces straight so that everything else would go smoothly. We found this to be an easy way to start an indoor railroad. It took us literally about 10 minutes to assemble each table, and now we have lots and lots of storage space, as well as an easy to move and reconfigure platforms. Plus, if we ever need to take it down, we just unscrew the wood We've got lots of shelves that can be used for other purposes.